here are three things you can make from PVC pipes. After marking one side of the PVC with a masking tape, I heated it up with a blowtorch. I used a piece of wood to flatten the pipe. Then I did the same thing on the other side. I heated up the center and bent it around another pipe. I also made a groove in each side. I used a clamp to flatten ends of the pipe. A little bit of sanding and we're done. We have made PVC tongs. Perfect to make a drink for your guests. There are many ways you can improve your old screwdrivers. I heated up a PVC pipe and slid it onto the handle. To make sure the cap can spin freely, I heated up the pipe and then put on the cap. For the other screwdriver, I heated a T connector and slid it onto the handle. When needed, I can extend the handle of my screwdriver and make it more comfortable. And the same thing with the other screwdriver. If I need a better grip, the T-connector does a great job. After heating up a PVC, I squeezed it with a clamp. Then I put the blade inside and squeezed the clamp even more. I cut out two pieces from beads pegboard and glued them to the clamp. Then I used that clamp to make a dotted pattern. When you reheat the PVC, it will take its original shape. That's why I switched to the candle, as you can control the heat better. I closed one end of the pipe and then the other one, but with a blade inside. I snapped off the blade and made the cap from a larger PVC pipe. You might want to wear gloves or be prepared for a very hot pipe. And last, I drilled a hole in the cap and did some final sanding. We have made a keychain utility knife. The blade will hold in place by the pressure of your fingers. It's great for opening parcels or free yourself from a seat belt in case you got into an accident and the seat belt has jammed. Which one did you like the best? As always, your feedback is highly appreciated.